And hello, Chiefs Kingdom. I am Chris Clark from Chiefs Corner. You can find me over there. This is a Locked On Chiefs episode. We are just doing a couple of mini shorts talking about training camp. It is going on right now, and I wanted to give you a quick rundown on what is going on with the Chiefs at training camp right now in St. Joe. So on Friday, they practiced, and they had another breakout experience from one of the wide receivers. Sky Moore had a fantastic diving catch uh, in coverage. From Chad Henney, it was a beautiful catch. It's something that he is going to continue to work on and try to get to a point where he can contribute to this offense and step up and be one of those guys that Patrick Mahomes can rely on in this offense. MBS continued to have a strong camp, and so did Juju Smith-Schuster. They both had good get good days on Friday as well. Then you start moving and looking at some of the tight ends that are in camp. Jody Fortson is showing up like he has in the past, and it is going to be something that you're going to have to watch going into the season. He is starting, it sounds like he is starting right where he left off last year. And let's not forget, he had a very good season for the limited playing time he was available. If he can stay healthy, that is a huge deal for Kansas City and for Travis Kelsey's usage because it gives them the opportunity to have Kelsey sit and still have a guy that could be productive on the field at the same time. Another tight end that has stood out and is having a good camp uh, on Friday was Matt Bushman. He had another good grab close to the sidelines. So that's something to watch. How does he play into this tight end set? Uh, Right now you have Noah Gray, you have Jody Fortson, you have Travis Kelsey, you have uh, Blake Bell. The question is, is Matt Bushman a guy that can step in and play on this roster and be on this team? They're likely to keep four tight ends again, so – it's possible. The question is, is who's going to be the odd guy out? I would imagine that's going to be Blake Bell if they decide to go that direction. But then Bushman needs to show he can block and he can do a lot of the things that Blake Bell has done for the Chiefs so far in his Kansas City career. The, let's move on really quick. There were a couple of other people that stood out in practice on Friday. Willie Gay had a pick six in practice on Patrick Mahomes in red zone drill. The Chiefs and the offense was at the five-yard line. Willie Gay jumped in front of a pass, took it the entire length of the field, and scored a touchdown. That is exactly what you want to hear about happening in practice. Mahomes is taking a little bit more risks, probably. Uh, throwing an interception isn't a big deal when you're in training camp. you got to see what you can do and what you can't. And having Willie Gay step up and take that ball to the house is a good sign for where he could be going forward in this defense and what he can contribute to this Chiefs defense in 2022. George Karloftis is also having a good day. Karloftis knocked a pass down and uh, from Chad Henney, trying to throw the ball out to one of the wide receivers. This is a continuing deal for Karloftis. He is a long player. He has a lot of ability to get passes and knock them down at the line of scrimmage. This is something that really could help Kansas City at times. It's not been something that the Chiefs DNs have done very much of. Uh, in, in the past in Kansas City, some of the defensive tackles have done it. Chris Jones has been really good at it at times in big in big moments. Uh, but it's not something that a lot of the DNs have really been doing and, and working on. So it's one it's one thing to see. Can Karloftis continue that? Is he going to be able to knock down a couple of passes during the season? Because that can be a big play. It doesn't have to be you know a sack. It would be great if it's a sack. But if he's able to knock down two or three passes at key times throughout the year, that is a great contribution from a rookie defensive end another guy that had another strong a couple of strong plays joshua kando he was able to get after chad Henney. he knocked the ball out of his hands he got around the corner pretty well and he was able to cause a fumble this is a very very huge deal for kando and it's not necessarily because it's training camp and it's you know one of those things where you're hoping players show that they're able to do things it's more of the fact that kando is a guy that didn't play much last year He looked like he was lost at times during practice, but then he was able to step on the field. He was able to show that he had a little bit of pass rush, but then he got hurt and was out out the entire season. Now he's coming back for year two. You are in a situation where Frank Clark is gone after this year. Karloftis is going to be here. Mike Dana is going to be here. Carlos Dunlop, who they just signed, and we're going to talk about here in just a moment, is going to be here this year, but gone probably in 2023. So you're really looking for guys with youth that can step up and they can be here for a long term. Joshua Kando is a guy that they knew they were going to need to work on and they were going to have to work on technique. They're going to work, have to work on strength. And it was going to be a guy that if he could develop, could provide pass rush down the road. The question is, is can he do that right now? 
I think he can. So we will see what he's able to provide this year. If he can continue getting after the tackles at Chiefs camp and then getting after players in the preseason, that is going to be a very, very good sign going into the regular season. Maybe he can be that fourth guy off the bench to give them a little bit of added pass rush at that DN spot. Last guy I want to talk about, kind of mentioned this a little bit earlier, Carlos Dunlap uh, was signed by the Chiefs. He is going to report, but Andy Reid came out and said he's going to report on Wednesday. So it's going to be a couple of days before you're going to see him. Not too surprising considering he was the guy that came in and met with the team. Uh, I don't think that he was expecting that a contract would be done immediately. It was done immediately, and now you're in a situation where he has got to go get all this stuff ready for camp. He's got to show up at camp, and he's got to get acclimated. So he will not be practicing until at least Wednesday next week, though it is, to be clear, he can't actually practice in pads, I don't believe, until – Saturday or Sunday because you have a three-day acclimation period once camp starts and what that's exactly what the veterans are going through right now they cannot be in pads uh, one other quick note really quick during practice they were really working on the running game that is one thing that they were focusing on during training camp today I like that because you're in a situation where throughout the preseason or sorry throughout the offseason you've been able to work in the passing game you can't really do much in the running game when you can't have pads on. They don't have pads on right now, but you can't really do much in OTAs at all. So now they're in a situation where they can do a little bit more. Yes, you don't have pads on. Yes, you're not having the same run blocking that you would normally, but you're in a situation where you can go and see what your running game is going to look like. You can see how that's going to turn out and how things are going to play out. You can kind of get an idea for how the running backs are going to work in there, uh, how the offensive line is moving, what that gives you, and how that's going to – look when the season starts you can get an idea of where those guys are going to shake out i think that's a great thing for kansas city to be able to do this time of year uh really excited to see that because one thing that is going to be key to this offense in 2022 is they need to be able to run the ball i'm not saying they need to run it 50 of the time 60 60 of the time like ryan would like but i will say they need to be able to run the ball consistently they need to be able to run it well if they can do that 30 or 40 percent and they can be effective at it getting five yards of carry then that's all that they really need, and that makes their offense that much more dangerous. Like I said before when we started this, this is a Locked On Chiefs short. Hope you enjoyed it. We will be doing training camp updates every day when they're in camp. Thank you for listening, and we will be back.